The new musical production of Annie has just been announced. It's going to open at Sydney's Lyric Theatre in December and set to star some of Australia's finest musical theatre talent, including Anthony Warlow, Nancy Hayes, and wait for it, radio veteran Alan Jones. But I tell you, there's still some very important people missing from the cast, a, a little orphan named Annie. And we sent Laura Francis along for the first round of the auditions. Have a look. It's not often you come across so many girls secretly wishing they were born a redhead. But with loads of wannabe Annies out there, every little thing counts. Some, like Molly, are doing okay. I don't need it! And there are those who, like Caitlin, know a thing or two about stage magic. Ah, we're weak. It's so hard not to like. The competition is tough and getting in can't be left to luck. So how do you get ahead of the pack? Well, 30 girls have headed along to Annie Boot Camp to find out. They rehearse the script and get a few pointers for the dance routines. It's a hard knock, light, right, left, right, down. That's important. Queenie van der Zand, the music theatre pro who runs the workshops, says being really ready for the big day is essential. Prepare is exactly the word. I think that audition technique is absolutely, it's probably about 90% preparation and 10% talent. That's what I believe anyway. Michaela may only be seven, but she's got a fair old CV on her. I've done a couple of commercials. Mm -hmm. What ones? Um, I've done Fujitsu, I've done TikTok Bread and a couple more, but I can't really remember them. Her secret weapon? The perfect audition face. If it's like a lyrical, mm -hmm. um, it, you don't really need the face. Okay. The smile. Just use um, a confident face. Okay, so what's a confident face look like? Um, just look like a worried face, but kind of happy. Yet sometimes the most talented performers on stage... I just stick on my chin and grin and say... ...are the quietest kids in real life. In my real life, I'm actually quite shy, so I love playing an outgoing person, but I really love performing because I just do. It's so fun. But the process can be heartbreaking for the kids who don't make the cut. I auditioned for Mary Poppins as Jane Banks. Right. How did that go? Well, I got to the second last round of um, Mary Poppins and I got out because of my height. So one of the things that I, I try to impart to children that I work with is the, is the sense of that a, an audition is not a means to an end. An audition is just like uh, putting on a, a play in your lounge room. That's what it's like. It's like saying to everybody, sit down, I've got something really exciting to show you. All right, step aside, Queenie. No more time to rehearse. It's showtime. The big day has finally arrived. There are over a thousand girls here auditioning, including Michaela, Molly and Caitlin. They're off to impress the judges with their singing and if they make it through that, then there's a dance round. And we're lucky enough to be getting a rare glimpse behind the scenes. First up, the girls sing for music director Peter Casey. Director Karen Johnson Mortimer will pick three Annies to share the role. And she knows what she wants. The Annies and all the orphans in the show have to be triple threats. In other words, they have to sing, dance and act. The girls had less than 10 minutes to impress the judges before the announcement was made. I could have Molly, Caitlin, Ashley, Jordan and Lara to come with me, please. I got through! I got through! And how did you go? Um, I think I did well and it was a, uh, I got a bit nervous at first, but yeah, I got used to it. And, and is that the end for you today? Mm. Are you okay with that? Yeah. You put it in perspective, think about, you know, so many other things that happen to children. There's sick children out there and it's the worst thing that ever happens to her. Lucky us. And after a long day, it's finally time for the girls to go home. But it's not over yet. They'll need to survive another round of auditions in July. From Annie Boot Camp all the way to opening night. It's a huge journey for little girls. And as with any show, the sun will come out tomorrow for just a lucky few.